but I'm single-handedly causing the Great Depression. It's twisted. What you got there? <laughs> what you? <laughs> What about, wait, what about, like, hey man, casual sex, hey man, divorce, hey man, pornography, hey man, communism, atheism, hey man, Satanism, hey man, just live and let live, free speech, man, doesn't bother you, and the poor American man thought to himself, wow, now I suppose it is a part of freedom, it doesn't affect me, now fast forward a couple decades, all those things just got, just mortared into society, and then society's like, Boom. Mommy, mommy, help. Give me your pee pee. Boom. Give me reparations. You're not even black. You're Samoan. Boom. I just talked to two people. One of them lives in Texas, actually, and then one of them's from Arizona, and they work for the government. They were telling me inside information about the way that the coronavirus has been handled. It's so basically. Water department. Shh. Okay, so basically what. Yeah. That, that was, was such just... a profound answer, John. Yeah. Yeah. See, the thing is, though. People like watch me for my commentary and my insight. They only look at you because you're a woman. America. No, 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 no. America. Not racist. Yes. 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 We got. It. I think. I think John really is autistic, and not based on anything. Like this. Hey. I thought we. I thought hey. that settled. Yeah. Hey. Yo. What up with a cut? What's up with you, huh? Hey, bro. I'm on. I'm on a show right now. I just wanted to talk with you for a little bit. You with a what? I'm on a show, bro. Right now. Oh, right now, shit. <laughs> so I can't talk crazy, crazy. No, nah, I don't talk crazy. Just say what's up to the little homies, you know. What's your, what's your, what's your thought on uh, the last election? Man, nigga. It's about money. It's about sending a message. This country deserves a better class of right wing e boy, and I'm gonna give it to him. Tell your viewers they're watching me now. Zoomer Gamer Caucus, yeah. run by the John Doyle. John Doyle and all his cool friends. <laughs> <laughs> I did stuff with your mom, pee pee. So if you guys want clarification on what's going on, yeah, I'm done, I'm out. I have put in my resignation at HOC Media. John is a loser and I'm no longer ever associating with him. Oh, thank this is a song about the leader of our movement who 30 years ago today went to go buy something from the store. How you can get three months free by clicking the link in the description that is expressvpn.com slash Doyle. They're a friend of ours. It's a great service. I use it constantly and you should be as well if you care about your privacy and your freedom. Very epic. UFS. And uh, we love the laser bullet too. It's kind of epic. I don't know if I have batteries in it. Shut up Bolshevik. Wait a minute, why didn't that work? Oh, I'm stupid. Safety's on. Well, having the safety on isn't stupid. Safety is, of course, first, but, you know, it's obviously clear. Well, it's actually, it's not clear because we got the laser bullet in it. Shut up, Bolshevik. Yeah. This is how we take back the culture. Few understand this. the top 10 states for gun rights and they're also ranked like number four for the friendliest state oh well but california has the best weather yeah texas has the third best weather and guess what else the girls are catholic we're all gonna make it no e-girls in texas i don't even i don't want to hear well well john if you look at the religious affiliation by state the data actually show that i don't care california breeds thottery texas breeds families no slightly above average looking girl with a poor relationship with her father ever said that she's gonna move to texas to pursue being a thought full time it's always california i cannot be moved on this I used to bully one of my old friends, Gavin, for being half Jewish, because like, what the hell, Gavin? Like, do you accept Christ or not, idiot? Fashion career. In the summer, you go to Kohl's, get about 10 plain white t-shirts from Urban Pipeline. They'll run you about seven bucks if you time it correctly. You wear those under a patterned cotton button down, and you can experiment with the buttons based on the shirt, but never button all of them. That's how you get all the 18-year-old Catholic girls with present fathers. This look right here. I did it once, saw my reflection in the window of a car, and I was like, yeah, yeah, this every day. That's the summertime aesthetic.
And if you really want to push it, you can wear a minimalist watch as well. But if you do that, you're going to have to prepare for carpal tunnel because you'll be shaking so many father's hands because their daughters will just keep introducing you. It won't stop. If you're not ready for that, then then don't listen to me. But uh, anyways, last one. I think this was about 18 years ago. My mother... My sister and I were playing hide and go seek, which of course is a game where most hide but one seeks. And I had elected to be the seeker. And after a long time, I couldn't find my mom. And so I sat down on our kitchen floor and I pretended to cry. And when she came rushing in to see what was wrong, I looked up at her and I said, I found you. And what I always thought was just my high IQ was really just toxic masculinity and emotional manipulation. Like, hey bro, look at me, but with less clothes on. But 80% of you guys said you wanted it. I guess democracy is not cringe sometimes. I'm trying to prove a point here, which is that every young man should be physically fit. And also that every leftist who makes videos about me is just coping because they know that my friends and I would have bullied them in high school. So anyways, onto the vacation, the workforce, virtually everywhere in society, except for maybe the MyPillow factory. This video is not officially sponsored by Mike Lindell, nor is it officially sponsored by My Pillow. But you should still go buy a My Pillow because they are epic, and Mike Lindell will be the savior of the West. Do you have any pre-orders? John. Thank you. Would you like a receipt tonight? Ah, uh, that's okay. Thank you, though. How may I serve you? Uh, boy, I, I kind of got like distracted by the prospect of Chick Fil A. I didn't really think about it. Do you know what you want? Uh, I'm gonna be real bad. I'm not sure. Actually, no. Yes, I do. Can I please have one sandwich? Um, just a regular one and then some large fry as well with that and ample Chick-fil-A sauce with that, please. Yes. Uh, could I get just a deluxe sandwich okay. and then I would also like ample Chick-fil-A sauce okay. <laughs> if, if that's possible. Yes. And then uh, I think we should be good. Alright. So I have um, a Chick-fil-A sandwich, a Chick-fil-A deluxe sandwich, a large fry, and then some Chick-fil-A sauce. Yes. Okay. Total is going to be 1077. Card or fish? Uh, card. You should read off the card information, to be honest. I'm going to be a regular swipe right down here. And do you guys have a rewards app or no? We do not. All right, then you guys are all set. All right, thank you so much. Love you. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. Yes, an eventful time Love you. Chick fil A drive through. <laughs> nice. Everyone in Chick fil A is so nice. That's like their gimmick. That's like their thing. Yeah, but like... Yeah? How did you know that? Um... I'm magic. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You guys are all set to go to the window, though. But we, hey. we just met. How are you gonna call wait, me by wait, name wait. and then we're done? Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, my name is Josh. How you doing? What's up, Josh? Yo, J-Club, his middle name starts with a J. G. Yeah, his, his first name starts with a J. My middle name starts with a J. Is, uh, you guys coming out? No, oh, is it like... Oh, are you... <laughs> What about your drinks sometime? Oh, oh, it could be game. this time. I was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say that we could like start a band, but then you were gay. <laughs> <laughs> but I really want a band though. Wait, wait, wait! What do you play? Wait, wait, wait! What do you play? What do you play though? No, 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 let's do it. Just... No, that's valid. Hey, John. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Dude, oh my gosh, how's it going, Norm? What? Oh, my apologies. You look like someone. Oh, I don't know you. Oh. I know you now, though. What's up? Hey, dude, what, Let's get some nuts. Jo oh, damn. Bro, Josh just hit on me, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. You don't know how you feel about it? He's he's, he's got just such charming eyes, but he's also got, you know. I know. Yeah, you I know. Didn't, well, I, like, I wasn't gay before I met Josh, but like maybe now I have to like, no. Now I'm totally, questioning. I, you know, I like the sunglasses. I like the glasses duo. Oh, thank you. No, I, it's like, it's kind of hype, right? Yeah, it's kind of hype. I, I like it. I'm a fan. Yo, you left me hanging on the Nux though, so I'm gonna have to come back for that. Yeah, you good? Okay, you can to transfer it. Oh, uh, uh, there we go. For you, John. And what's your name? Nathaniel. John and Nathaniel. Okay, I'm Charlie. Next time you come through, I'll remember you guys. Let's go. I'm coming back here for you, Charlie. Really? Yeah. Just for me, John. Just I'm coming you. back here too, man. Just Thank for you, Charlie. You. Oh my gosh, I appreciate it. I hate to leave, but it's 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 it hasn't it's been that long. Aside, go have fun. I was in an arcade a few weeks ago. I posted a picture of myself with a Donkey Kong cabinet on my Instagram story. And I was like, who thinks I can set the high score? About 20 minutes later, I did it. Cause I'm the best at Donkey Kong. Few will take this into account. Someone replies to it. They're like, John, the country's on fire. President Trump had the election stolen from him. And you're just playing at the arcade. Do you even believe what you say? And it's like, bro, I live in this cycle. It's not healthy. Elijah Schaefer thinks I have autism. Obviously I'm too charismatic, but I get where he's coming from. Oh, how am I going to bring the Garand to the, to the new studio? Oh, you're right. I guess I'm going to have to leave it here. You know, I'm actually sad to hear you say that. I am sad to hear you say that because you're assuming that I only had one. Do you know how big of a problem hentai is? Remember, don't just consume to live, live to consume. 
You know it's true, especially young men. Like the whole culture is different. Think about the first porn you saw. Now think about the weirdest thing that you've ever seen. Now think about what you're watching now on average. You know it's weird. Because you can maybe be like, yo, dude, I saw this video of this chick having sex. It was sweet. But you wouldn't be like, yo, dude, I saw this video of this chick getting raped by a squid. Same way that you'd be like, yo, dude, I went to this party. I got wasted. But you wouldn't be like, yo, dude, I can't function anymore without drinking throughout the day. Dap me up, bro. Bro, I'm addicted to furry porn. Dap me up, bro. The boys are not doing well. The boys are down bad. DC operative. We don't need people masturbating, okay? We need people who are baiting the media, baiting journalists. We need masturbators, not masturbators. Which way, Western man? 7%, frankly. But not like a gay way, you know? Like a, like a, like a, like a, what's, camaraderist? That's not a word. In a, in a way that conveys camaraderie. And they don't want you to think that's epic. They want you to think that's gay because they don't want you to form bonds with other men. They don't want you to kiss the homies goodnight because uh, it'll help you bond with them. And so they tell you that it's gay. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. Kiss the homies goodnight. Unless you think you're going to enjoy it. That'd be, that'd be, that's really what it is. If someone like won't kiss you goodnight as a homie, it's like, what do you think you're going to enjoy it? No. Like, do you enjoy helping your friend move? No, you do it because it's gonna make you guys bonded. You do it because you're friends, right? I don't enjoy kissing the homies goodnight, but I do it for the same reason. Like, that's my friend, obviously. Anyways, thank you so much for- You need people like me to point the finger and say, that's him, that's the bad guy. It's so true. This is totally unrelated, but I have to tell it now. One time a couple years ago, my younger cousin came over and he had just seen Scarface for the first time. And he goes, bro, Johnny, I gotta show you my Tony Montana impression. I was like, all right, let's hear it. He goes, well, you know, the thing is it might get kind of loud. And for context, my mom already thinks he's basically an externality, like bull in a china shop, just being loud, breaking things, total externality. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, just do it quietly then. He's, well, that's not how it goes if I want to do it correctly. So I'm just like, dude, just do it, but don't be loud about it. He's like, okay, I'll try. He pauses for a second, immediately just, go ahead, you fucking cockroaches, immediately, other room. Oh my, Keller, get out of here, I can't believe. He just, he could not figure out how to do it without being loud, but you know, at least he did it correctly, right? Chaotic net or cable television. Uh, board a boat for at least an hour, be on board a boat for at least an hour. Uh, you're going to want to skate down an entire parking structure, go to an amusement park. And then before you leave, try to win one of those Rastafari bananas, spend no more than $10. And then if you can't do it, rage quit, make a scene. Um, you're going to learn at least one Blink-182 song on guitar. Um, find a nice place to watch the sunrise. You arrive 30 minutes prior with a black coffee and then just enjoy God's creation. Um, ask an old person what they think about transgender people. Uh, ask a black person what they think about transgender people. Um, go swimming at night, preferably in a lake. Read a book that would probably alarm your family members. Kiss a girl. Now, this one might be controversial. Like, maybe we shouldn't be focusing on girls, but this is only the first half of the mission. The next half is the part that's actually important, which is that you don't ever talk to her again. And if you need me to explain what this is testing, then you're probably not going to make it, but... So, uh, start a surprise wrestling match with a friend of yours until one of you is unironically angry. Now, the idea here is that even if you get pinned, you just keep going. You just keep starting shit again until maybe, you know, he doesn't get mad. Maybe he just throws you on the ground, whatever. Maybe you're not mad. You just keep going until one of you gets mad. That's the idea. A gamer's kamikaze. Okay, guys, everyone just calm down. Let's just take this one step at a time. I need you to understand that I understand that there's something inherently funny about a white conservative posting a video entitled The Truth About the N-Word, which is exactly why I did it. And if I weren't using a VPN, the people connected to the same Wi-Fi network as me could literally steal all my information with just a rudimentary knowledge of computers. But with ExpressVPN, you're completely protected. And this, this can even happen to you in the privacy of your own home. So if you don't want people getting access to your information and browsing habits, you're definitely gonna wanna look into this and eat with Crafting, napping. Diamond pickaxe in the mansion. Diamond sword, yes, enchanted. All the diamonds I'm stacking. Crafting, napping. Crafting, napping. Crafting, napping. Crafting, napping.